Welcome back, my name is Last No Meal, and today I'm going to talk about Reach 2. So a couple of days ago, I made a video talking about that leak where basically Walmart Canada posted Reach 2 on their website, and Bethesda was very angry because at that time I was very skeptical when I was making that video. I thought, like, okay, this is going to be yet another leak. But it was too obvious in my opinion because E3 is coming and um, we haven't heard anything about Rage for the past 7 years and today but has the Softworks releases Rage 2 announcement trailers. Yes, guys, this is happening. We are getting Rage 2 7 years after the first game. Now this is definitely good, because the first game, Rage 1, in my opinion, is one of the most underrated games ever. Gameplay was just amazing, because in my opinion, Rage was always Doom with Mad Max. Like, if you mix Doom and Mad Max, you get Rage. So in my opinion, I always loved that game. The driving uh, was amazing, the gunplay was amazing, the plot and the ending were uh, probably the biggest minus about the game, that's why people didn't really, like, enjoy the game that much, because I believe the story was just too short, and for a lot of people, like, Rage was more than, uh, like, a tech demo rather than a game, but in my opinion, the first game was amazing, and then after so many years of not talking about it, like, I really thought they will abandon the franchise, but... Like, I think last year I made a video where I said, like, Rage 2 might even happen, because companies like Bethesda and every single company in the world has a business plan. So, for example, ID Software was uh, making Doom, and I thought, like, okay, they're going to make Doom, and then after Doom is released, they are going to work on Rage 2, which actually happened, so we are getting a new Rage game. I mean, just watching the announcement trailer, we don't get much, uh, it's just live action mixed with CGI, we don't get actual gameplay, but we are going to get a gameplay reveal tomorrow, so stay tuned, I will be making a video about that. So just watching this announcement trailer, we definitely see that uh, Rage 2 is going to be more quirkier than the first game. Which makes sense, because if you just look at Watch Dogs, for example, the first Watch Dogs game was very dark, very down to earth, and then the second Watch Dogs game is just bad shit insane, and it actually worked for the franchise, it made the game better. You know, there are some problems with that, but I'm not going to go too much into it. Like, Rage 1, you know, it had its quirks, definitely it had its quirks, it was always kind of a, a Mad Max style game, which had humor in it, which had just crazy mutants roaming the post-apocalyptic world. But I think the second one is just going to be more colorful, it's going to be quirkier, it's just going to be more insane, which in my opinion is definitely going to work good for the game, because on one side you have Doom, which is very dark, filled with demons, etc, etc, then you release Rage 2, which is just going to be insane in every way possible and you can see that from this trailer it's definitely going to be a thing now boomerang is coming back i even see a katana here so melee combat could be even more implemented into this game uh, I'm not sure if they're going to continue the plot from the first game because um, the first game left us with a cliffhanger so it kind of makes sense if they continue from there and kind of expand the universe but there is also a possibility they will abandon the first game like the plot from that game and just go into a different direction which kind of makes sense but at the same time we have no idea what the story is going to be it's uh, going to be revealed tomorrow so stay tuned for that. I definitely hope the plot and the characters are going to be more detailed and have more depth in this one, because it's definitely going to work for the game. Gameplay was always fun in it, but I think the biggest minus I have with it was the story, you know, and the characters. There was, they were very bland at that time, they didn't have much to it, it didn't make it so interesting. Like, of course, yes, the game was interesting, but um, it had problems, it definitely had problems. So I definitely believe that Rage 2 is going to work on all those problems, and trust me, it's going to be one hell of a game if they do that. And I just can't wait to see how Boomerang is going to work in this one, I hope. Um, that is going to be more useful because I'm gonna I'm gonna use it and if they do implement melee weapons It's definitely going to be a thing so stay tuned guys because tomorrow I'm going to make another video showcasing gameplay and it's going to be amazing This is the last meal signing out don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button Also, tell me down below what you think about this and will you be playing rage 2 as I said stay classy everyone and bye bye